Okay, this video is part of a series. Uh, we're looking at uh, the Google 2018 um, Capture the Flag. We're going to be looking at the firmware project today. Again, uh, shout outs to uh, John Hammond and uh, Live Overflow. They're the ones that brought this to my attention. Also, uh, check out my GitLab, gitlab.com forward slash mailx1000 forward slash capital CTF. All the, I'm trying to automate all these uh, Capture the Flag things, so I have code there that you can look through and that we're going to walk through in this video. Um, and uh, whew, if you're watching this series, the last one, I kind of at the end of the video because uh, it was above my head trying to explain it. This one, though, I completely understand. I can explain this to you very well. Uh, so here you have an attachment which you can download, which is rather large. Let's go ahead and just run my script here, which is going to download that file, which is 81 megabytes. I mean, it's not huge, but it's rather large. It's a zip file. When you extract that, uh, it's very clear that it is a... Um, GZ file and it says right there dot uh, ext4 uh, and there's our, our code so let me go ahead and go into my code here and we'll walk through this step by step so let's go ahead and just cut out this and we will grab this and download the zip file so we can walk through it step by step. It's it's very, very simple. Uh, my script does have some pseudo commands in here because we have to do some mounting. Um, so uh, if you run it, it will ask for, uh, you know, your, your pseudo password. Uh, obviously, you don't know me. If you download my script, look at the script before you run it. You know, I you know well, even if you're even if it isn't asking for root uh, privileges, you definitely want to look through it. It's what? 15 lines of code, see what's happening before you run it, because heaven forbid I type something wrong and it wipes out your hard drive, or I'm trying to be malicious, which I'm not, but you don't know me, so you know, never download code and run it without looking, uh, if it's short like this, at least looking at it quickly. Um, so download that, we will unzip it, and then we will gunzip that file, and even though we already have the extension of dot ext4 extensions mean nothing <laughs> uh, let's just look at that file with file and we can see that it is a file system it's an ext4 file system uh, so we should be able to mount it no problem so we're going to make a directory called mnt in the current directory you don't have to do that you can mount it wherever you want that's what I'm doing then I'm going to sudo mount uh, let me make this a little bit smaller so I fit all in one line um, our file here to mnt and then we can list out what's inside the folder MNT. And you can see it's a root file directory. So my first few thoughts here was I uh, listed what was in the root directory, which it would probably say that I don't have permission for. Yeah, so we'll sudo list that out. Uh, nothing in there. And then the next thing I would do is check the home directory and it uh, doesn't seem like there's anything in there. Uh, so really, we should also be looking for hidden files. So the next thing I would do is this, nothing in there. Again, check the root directory. Uh, we have a bash RC file and a profile. We might want to look at that, but then also let's just look at the, the root directory of the file system right there. And right there you can see something that says backdoor password in a GZ file. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, it, has root file permissions, so we probably need to sudo uh, gunzip that file. So nt forward slash dot uh, media backup or backdoor password, uh, and that should extract it to our current directory or not. Maybe it did it inside the image here. It did, so it extracted it there. So now we should be able to sudo cat actually. Before we do that, let's just file it out just to make sure. Uh, can we even do that without being sudo? And we can see it's plain text. I just did that just in case, you know, it's a binary file. Uh, we can see it's not very big, but just to be careful, or just to know what's going on, we will now cat out dot media backdoor, and there is our flag. So that, that one was pretty straightforward. It was just a gun zip file, or gzip file. Um, inside a Linux image that was compressed as a uh, gzip, which was compressed as a zip. Um, 
and it was just hidden, so you just had to look. So, I mean, that's usually the first things I do when I work with this stuff. I look at what's in the root directory. I look at what's in the, uh, when I say root directory, the root of the file system. Then I look in root's home folder, and then I look in the regular user's home folder, which there were no regular users on here. Um, after that, I would have started looking into, you know, uh, see what files are in the uh, path directories, such as uh, bin, sbin, usr bin, then also etc. So that's just you know the process I would go through for looking through stuff. Uh, I might have even ran if I didn't find it at this point. I might have um, I would have done you know find dash iname flag like this and just search for any file that had the word flag in it on the entire directory. And obviously I would be doing that. Yeah, well, I'm already in that folder, so I could do that and it would look through there. And you probably want to run that as sudo uh, just in case there is. It's not a big file system, so it went through that real fast. And at that point, like while I'm looking through manually, I might have also, I'm just giving you an idea of if I hadn't found it right then and there, the next step I would have done, I probably would have done grep r uh, i flag from everything. And that's that also didn't take very long. Um, and then I would have also looked for ctf. And that didn't find it either. Um, why not? I'm in that directory. Huh. I wonder if that doesn't search hidden files. Anyway, that would have been a step I did to try to grep through every file in the system, which should take a long time. I'm obviously typing something wrong with my command. Otherwise, it would have taken longer to search through all those files. Um, anyway, just giving you a train of thought on things I would have tried if I didn't see that file right there. Uh, but again, root directory, home directories of root user and other users. Be sure we look for hidden files. Uh, those are the first things you should be doing uh, in situations like this. After that, then, you know, uh, I would probably look at, you know, what processes are started, when the system starts, uh, you know, the init tab, and then look at those binaries and see what they're calling, blah, blah, blah. We didn't have to get that deep into this. So I hope that you did learn something here. I'm going to now sudo you mount my directory here and I will remove my zip file and the challenge. There we go. Just cleaning stuff up. Oh, now I can also remove the MNT file or folder. There we go. My directory is clean again and I can run my script again again, which automates the whole thing. Uh, we can look at the script, but it's basically what I just went over step by step. That was a very, very simple one. Let it run here, extract it, extract it, mount it. Again, the script will ask for root password or pseudo password. I've already typed it in, so it's it's saved for a bit. And there is our flag. And there's the code. Downloads it, unzips it, removes the zip file just to keep things clean. Unzips that, which gunzip uh, automatically removes the original file when you unzip something. Make the directory to mount to, then we mount. Uh, and then I... Uh, unzipped the gun zip file there that was in the root file system uh, and then I here I changed its permissions which uh, I now realized after walking through this again I didn't need to do that it was readable once I extracted it I copied it to the current directory so that I can unmount clear the screen cat that file out and then uh, you know remove all the you know we'll clean up at the end there so again Filmsbychris.com is my website. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description if you're enjoying these videos. Uh, I hope you continue watching them as part of a series. You know, be sure to check out the full playlist. Um, go to my website. You can search through all my videos there from both my channels. If you like my videos and want to support, you can check out the description of this video or go to support. You can support through Patreon or PayPal. And if you can't support financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate all that stuff. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.